Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, January 13th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Of course, top of the news today is, as usual on Patch Tuesday, the Microsoft Patch Tuesday crop, and we got patches for 83 vulnerabilities, 10 of which are rated as critical. The one that is sort of caught the most attention is uh, CVE 2021-1647. This is a remote code execution vulnerability in Microsoft Defender. So essentially in Microsoft's security tools. CVSS rating for this is 7.8. Now, what makes it even more exciting is that this vulnerability is apparently already being exploited in the wild. A little bit unusual is also that we do have nine vulnerabilities that were patched in the remote procedure call runtime. And well, these vulnerabilities can lead to remote code execution. Five of these vulnerabilities are rated as critical with a base CVSS score of 8.8. These vulnerabilities are exposed over the network, but an attacker would need some credentials, some access to the target system in order to exploit these vulnerabilities. But then we also had a flaw that didn't get patched this month that uh, sort of was expected to be addressed this month. And that's a remote code execution vulnerability in Exchange Server. Initially, uh, this flaw, I believe, was patched in September or so last year. Uh, the researcher that found the original vulnerability then uh, did uh, post about two possible bypasses for this patch. One was addressed in December. One is now still outstanding, but uh, this remote code execution also does require some credentials, which makes uh, exploitation, of course, less likely. Now, not included in the patch count this month are patches for Microsoft Edge, as it's now part of the Google Chrome ecosystem. It has received patches last week when Google Chrome was updated. And yes, while today was the last day that you could enjoy Flash, Flash is disabled after today. Adobe did still release a number of advisories, of course, none of them for Flash. Actually, we got a total of seven different advisories from Adobe, one for Adobe Bridge, then one for Captivate, InCopy, Campaign Classic, Animate, Illustrator, and Photoshop. Some of the vulnerabilities being addressed here could lead to code execution, but since these are not typically desktop uh, products for the most part, an attacker would have to convince you to open a particular file in one of these products like Photoshop. And Mimecast notified its customers today that a certificate that Microsoft used as part of its Microsoft 365 Exchange web services was compromised. So while this was a Mimecast certificate, it was actually Microsoft who lost the certificate. And apparently these certificates were then used to target, as Mimecast puts it, a low single digit number of customers that actually connected to Mimecast's Microsoft 365 uh, offerings uh, using this certificate. While I haven't uh, used uh, this particular offering from Mimecast myself, Mimecast is an email security a company, so I imagine that these certificates are being used to protect email being sent uh, to Mimecast's platform. An attacker, as a result, may be able to play a machine in the middle attack and uh, then would be able uh, to uh, read uh, the email being transmitted to uh, these services. And then we got a neat post in the Mozilla Attack and Defense blog revealing details regarding a recently fixed vulnerability in the canvas rendering context to the draw image function. This is a function that allows you, well, as the name implies, uh, to draw images, and these images may be semi-transparent. One basic tenant sort of of uh, browser security is, of course, the idea of same origin policy, where 
only code from a particular website can infer the content of a page that was created by that particular website. In this case, using this drawing function, it was actually possible to obtain details about the content created by another page, depending on how long it took to set a particular pixel. The trick here is that uh, this draw image function does allow for transparency and uh, how long it takes uh, to draw a particular pixel does in part depend uh, if transparency is used on the color of uh, the pixel below. While uh, as uh, this blog post sort of points out, this doesn't give like an awful lot of detail about the image. It's uh, sort of enough uh, to, for example, discover outline. So neat little uh, site channel attack here in web browsers. And yes, uh, this was reported as part of a bug bounty program and of course addressed back in November. And well, uh, this is it. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.